up everybody, Rod J back again to take a look at another beer. Thanks for swinging by, check out another video. So tonight, I'm taking a look at this one from All Tech Lexington Brewing and Distilling. This is the Kentucky Bourbon Barrel Stout. 8% ABV, 18 IBU. Now with this brewery out of Lexington, obviously I'm here in Northern Kentucky, they're about an hour, an hour, 10 or 15 minutes away from me, depending on how fast you're driving. One thing to note about this one, which is pretty interesting, is a stout brewed with coffee in Asian oak barrels with Haitian coffee. So, I have not had a beer aged with Haitian coffee. Not sure how much more stronger that will be, but maybe that adds some type of uniqueness to it. On the back side of the bottle, nothing there, really just a front label. Um, I'm just gonna read this here for you as well, as far as pairing suggestions. They mentioned big intense dishes, roast beef, lamb or game, grilled or roasted, rich, moderately aged cheese, chocolate peanut butter desserts, and anything with toasted coconut. Let's go ahead and get this baby open and get it into a glass and see what it has to offer. So I did sit this out for a little bit. I wanted to get up a little bit of temperature, obviously. So that way we can really get the notes and the aroma out of it, the all the flavor. Nice pour on it. You got a nice two finger head, some pretty good foaminess there. A nice mocha or beige type color. Nice darkness on the stout, pretty much a jet black. Do get the notes of vanilla coming out there. You're also getting some caramel, some toffee. Nice malty up front uh, aroma. Obviously the 18 IBU, it is gonna be the malts that lead the way. Kind of a nice sweetness to it. Also do pick up some of the vanilla coming from the oak barrel when that was done. It's gonna get a taste. Nice feel on the tongue. Has a nice creaminess to it. You do pick up some of that oak uh, barrel bourbon that they actually had from the barrel. You're picking up that flavor in here as well, but it's not overly boozy. It's got a nice smoothness to it. Went down really easy on the back end. Not much of any type of throat scratch at all. A little bit of a sting to the tip of the tongue up front on the initial, but pretty much pleasant. Now in the realm of some of the bourbon barrel beers I've had, I will say this one is a little more thinner or slightly thinner than what I've had there previously, but it actually works okay for it. You get that nice feel, you definitely know it's a bourbon stout, you're definitely enjoying. You're picking up some of that oakiness. As far as the coffee, you do pick it up. It's not really anything that I'm noticing much different than what we have on any type of American type coffee. You got that little bit of a coffee bitterness in there as well. Did have a little bit of nice lacing in the glass, which I just poured the rest into, but you can see a little break in there, so the glass did lace nicely. Head is working itself down at a decent enough pace. It's got a nice bite on the back end too. It has a nice crisp finish that, that it goes to from the initial taste. So this one actually passes very nicely. Definitely glad I picked this one up to give it a try. And that's why you gotta just always try different beers from different breweries. This one is kind of a hit miss for me as far as breweries go, as far as their beers go. And this one is definitely more of a hit. Pretty solid all the way around. And a nice, decent bourbon barrel stout, if you like bourbon barrel. It's not gonna be anything overly um, over the top or anything. It's not gonna be anything that's gonna probably wow you, I should say, but it has a nice amount of body to it. It sits a nice medium to just about full body. And it's got that nice amount of notes you would expect to get coming through from a bourbon barrel beer. So Altec, you did all right on this one. This is the bourbon barrel stout. If you've had it before, let me know what you think of it, put some comments in the comment section. And if you like what you saw, please remember to hit that like button. But thanks again for swinging by and check out another video. Look forward to catching you guys next time. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe as well. And as always, keep drinking those good craft beers. Remember, there's always time. Get your beer on. Cheers.